What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, creator of the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series. I want to continue to examine 100 years of world championship fights. Wednesday, April 16th, 1952. World middleweight champion Sugar Ray Robinson knocks out former world middleweight champion Rocky Graziano three rounds at the Chicago Stadium. Now, the referee Tommy Gilmore Counts out Rocky Graziano, 1 minute and 53 seconds of the third round. After Ray lost to Joey Maxim in 1952, he would make a comeback after entertainment and take on Carl Bobo Olsen. He would knock out Carl Bobo Olsen. And in his second title defense, and second reign as world middleweight champion, he would take on Rocky Graziano in front of 22,254 spectators. Collectively, they would gross $252,237.66. Now, Ray Robinson was 30 years of age at this point of his career. He stood 5 foot 11 inches and weighed 157 pounds, had a 72 and a half inch reach, and had a fighting career record of 131 fights. He would have two losses, two draws, 86 knockouts. He would earn $82,208 for this fight. As for Rocky Graziano, he was a former middleweight champion, 33 years of age. He stood five foot seven inches, weighed 160 pounds, and had a 68 and a half inch reach. He walked into the ring with a record of 67 wins, eight losses, six draws. And he earned $68,507 for this fight. Rocky Graziano would have an unbelievable 52 knockouts. He had a brilliant right hand, but he couldn't last with Ray Robinson. So let's take a look at the fight between Ray Robinson, Rocky Graziano, on the night of Wednesday, April 16th, 1952, at the Chicago Stadium. Now, Ray Robinson would be making a comeback. And what a comeback he would make. In his second reign as world middleweight champion, he would knock out the hard-punching Rocky Graziano. He was Harlem's finest. And when Ray lost, Harlem lost. The only other Harlem middleweight who would be a form of a champion. He was a color middleweight champion. His name was the Harlem Thunderbolt. His name was Harry Smith. Rocky Graziano would have three outstanding fights with Tony Zale, 1946, 1947, 1948. He would have a 20 fight winning streak. He would defeat Gene Bergman. He would retire in his last fight with Charlie Fusari when he went on a tirade. So let's take a look at Rocky Graziano and the great Ray Robinson, 1952. What an unbelievable fight this was. together the match that the American public has been seeing through its crystal ball for many years. A so-called dream match between the challenger and former middleweight champion of the world, Rocky Graziano, and the current middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. They're giving a demonstration of his magically fast feet in his traditional pre-fight round. Round one. Graziano, the shorter of the two, has the shorter reach and has come in at 160 pounds flat. 
while Sugar Ray Robinson has come in at 158. Graziano's task will be getting under those long arms of Ray Robinson. His power lies in his strong right arm, his ability to force a fight and mix it at great length. In Ray Robinson, Graziano, who has never been regarded as a boxer, meets one of the greatest master boxers of all time. Called by many, pound for pound, the greatest fighter of our time. Robinson shows plenty of authority in his own right arm. And there you see a beautiful example of his combination punching. Graziano being warned by the referee not to rabbit punch. Graziano is 29 years old, and Ray Robinson is 32. Both of these men have known what it is to lose their middleweight championships of the world. In order to get in... Past the reach of Ray Robinson, Graziano had to dash forward in a maneuver typical of Jake LaMotta when he has been fighting bigger men. The first time that Graziano has thrown a vaunted right hand, and his right hand again drives Robinson back. Robbie was stung by that right hand. Graziano continues to force the fight, set the pace throughout. A beautiful exchange. Robinson's theory apparently is to box Graziano and stay away from his right hand. <laughs> Round two. Graziano first loomed on the boxing horizon in 1945 with its sensational KO of the Philadelphian Billy Arnold. At that time, he shrieked, get me Ray Robinson, who even in 1945 was an established boxing star. Graziano was to wait seven years, but here he is. On the moment he himself called for. Graziano has beaten such stars as Charlie Fusari, Tony Gennaro. His finest hour came in 1947, when he won the middleweight championship of the world from Tony Zale, in his second fight with Zale. Robinson looked very good in his training for this fight, and as fast as ever. Although believed by some to be on a downhill slide. Robinson remains respectful of Graziano. Robbie himself is not a one-hand punch knockout artist, but depends upon his marksmanship and a steady tattoo on one particular spot to wear his man down.
That blow came as the bell sounded. Round three. Robinson won his title in February 14, 1951 from Jake LaMotta. Lost it to Randy Turpin in England in July. And regained it in a tremendous effort in September in New York City. There you see him double hooking and carrying those punches underneath into the body. At this point, many experts are saying that Graziano looked anything but bad in his boxing against Ray Robinson. And Ray goes down. It's an official lockdown. But before the fight began, the Illinois Boxing Commission ruled that a man would not have to stay down for the mandatory count of eight. Maybe the knockdown will infuriate Robinson. This has been his history in his great efforts in the ring. It took a lashing by Randy Turpin in their second fight to bring him back to a point where he smashed Turpin to the ground to take back the middleweight championship of the world. So Graziano has scored the first knockdown. And there goes his mouthpiece, and Graziano hits the canvas. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ray Robinson retains the middleweight championship of the world. Graziano is still trying to kick some life into his legs. And some spark into his numbing senses. A crowd of 23,785, which never sat in its expensive seats. Witnessing one of the finest exchanges for the middleweight championship of the world, paying over $252,000, Graziano walking dejectedly to his corner, and understandably sad. This was the moment he had asked for, but certainly not the conclusion he had anticipated. But in his sadness, he might reflect that he was beaten by a man who has lost only twice in 136 fights in a brilliant career. Now, Rocky Graziano would lose all senses in his left leg because when Ray hit him against those ropes, he hit him so hard that Rocky Graziano's head went all the way back and it disrupted his nerve. It's L5, L4, and S1 was damaged. That's how hard Ray Robinson punched Rocky Graziano. Took a pretty good shot on the side of the head. He went down, did Ray Robinson, but he was able to get up as a true champion would to put away an ex world middleweight champion in Rocky Graziano. That's all for me in this video. I'm Scrapbook Boxing. Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series. All great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. 100 years of world championship fights will continue in the next video. Salute to Rocky Graziano. Salute to Ray Robinson. Salute to my subscribers. Peace.